Two legends, Bonnie Irvin and Buck O'Neill, said that Hilton Smith had the greatest curveball that they had ever seen. But you maybe didn't hear as much about Hilton Smith as you did, say, the, the, very, um, the, the very outspoken Satchel Paige because he was more quiet. And we get a chance right now to visit with Hilton's son, De, De Morris, and you're, you know, your, your father was a, a legend in the game, but it sounds to me like he was very comfortable just letting his play do the talking and being under the radar otherwise off the field. Is that, is that true? That's, that is correct, realizing now that he grew up in Texas, and as a result, he had five brothers and sisters, and so really he had to really take care of the family. And yeah, mom and dad were there, but when you had that many kids, and since he was the oldest, uh, so he, again, he spent more time looking after the family itself. But he would go out there and put up numbers. I mean, as I understand it, 12 straight years of winning 20 or more games, that's unheard of in baseball anymore. And, and it sounds to me like it would almost be a tag team between Satchel and your father, Hilton Smith, in the way they were able to go out there and, and dominate. They were a pretty good duo, weren't they? Very much so. He had to also realize now he had over 300, so that <laughs> it was an advantage to go out and replace somebody because, again, you also bring hitting power. So what, what, what do we not know about your father? I mean, I was reading up and, and seeing some of his post-career, and, and, you know, he's a teacher and all these other things, but what, um, tell us more about your dad. Well, he originally from Texas, Giddings, Texas, actually outside of Giddings, Texas. Uh, that's where he grew up. That's where the family uh, lived most of their lives. And when he got into, he went to Prairie View for two years. But again, this was later in life. Again, he had to help raise the family. And as a result, he went to Prairie View for two years and then he began to play away from Prairie View. Now, in his early career, he won over 32 games while he played with Austin. And some of those games, one of those games was against Page, pitching on the other team. I guess that's when they first met. What was their relationship like? Because it, it sounds like the two of them would go out there and dominate, and then all the headlines would be about Satchel. And I, I'm sensing that your, your dad was okay with that. Remember now, he had a large family. <laughs> it's, it's all about family, right? <laughs> and he was the oldest, so basically he worried about his family more than anything else. He went out to do the, he did the job, and that was it. What about for you as a kid? You had that experience, I think, that every kid dreams of. I and mean, every, every kid that's a baseball fan thinks of, I think, two things. No, wrong. every kid does not dream of. When you grow up in that type of environment, you do what you have to do. My, yes, my father played baseball. I was involved in baseball, early age, football, bass, those things. But you go to the game, and I bat board for the Kansas City Well, Monarchs. that's what I mean, is, is that, that, that so many kids, or adults for that matter, would it's, love to just be that fly on the wall, and yes. you got to be that. What was that like? Low key. Yeah. You, it was a job. Like I say, at that, that age, it was a job. He's my father, my mother, and so forth. And you accept that, and you go and do the things you needed to do. And you really didn't focus on it. Yeah. Somebody would ask you about your father, I would say, fine, he did this, he did, he did that. But other than that, and pressure, there was no pressure on me to play baseball. Although my father coached here in Kansas City, some of the smaller kids. Well, it was also normal. That was the life that you knew. It wasn't yes. a bigger deal than, you know, we see it with our current players, and as their kids are starting sure. to grow up, they don't know any other way. Did you have, when, when you were in the clubhouse or you are around the Monarchs, or, uh, did, did, did you have a favorite player or someone that you looked up to? Again, growing up, the group I grew up with in Kansas said the neighborhood. You, yeah. you didn't really, that was my father. Yeah. Yeah. He played baseball. Yeah. Okay, fine. I have them doing other things. Now, I was fortunate enough to bat door for the Kansas City Monarchs, so I was there with the, all the other stars as well. But during the game, you do what you have to do, and people say, well, do you learn from your father? You try to stay away from your father. Mm. He's a professional. Yeah. And he would go to practices later on in life. I played for him, and he would run me all over the field. <laughs> to give an example, I played center field. And, and workouts and everything else, he would hit the ball, he would run, get it. But 
when he got ready to hit it, you start running one way and he hit it the other way. <laughs> he took advantage of it. So you stay away from your parents. Yeah. They're going to pressure you more so than anyone else. But you go out and you do it. He, he may have been quiet, but he still was working his son. <laughs> that, no that no freebies, right? That is correct. <laughs> Well, we're, we're so honored to, to have you here with us today, Mr. Smith, and to be able to share the, the memories and the legacy uh, of your father, Hilton. And the numbers speak for themselves. His character certainly spoke for itself, and I know that you're an extension of, of that. Thanks so much for, for spending time with us today. The pleasure is mine.